Is there bugs in here? Sugar in there. There is a bug in there. What is that? I'm not drinking it now just because you take it out. No. I don't think it's a bug. It's a bug. Oh, so that's okay? Hey everybody, welcome back to Argold Road and welcome to this week's Good Time Tuesday. We are switching from painting the Airstream over to painting the Avian because we had the couch pulled out to get it reupholstered so we figured why the couch is out. We were wanting to do the floors but we're not going to have time before the Big Ben trip. Instead, we we're just going to paint the walls and get those ready to go and it already looks really good with the Catelli change. So let's go check that out. Oh wait, before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to see all this fun we're having with these renovations. Alright, now let's go. Start over there. Basically here, under here, and this. You can start working on the roof. Like you can work back there. No, I don't want to work on the roof. It's easier for you because you're taller. And you're okay. closer to the ceiling. Okay, work on the grime then. Yeah, I'm gonna work on the grime. You get that muscle. I see it on see them all the time, and get to using the muscle and scrub this grime off. That didn't take muscle. In fact, can you just scrub it so hard it turns white, so we don't have to paint it? Yeah. Is this clean water? Why is there like a layer of floaty stuff? It's clean enough. Yes. Don't drink it. That's it, we finally got the second coat of paint on, as you can see from my dirty hands. We're really happy the way it turned out. We weren't planning on making a video on how to paint your interior, but we just wanted to let you know, just in case you have any questions, we used the Sherwin-Williams Duration Interior Acrylic Latex Paint on top of Kiehl's Primer. Hopefully that's gonna hold up. It's supposed to be durable and easy to clean, but I guess only time will tell. But if you've already painted the interior trailer, leave a comment below. Let us know what kind of paint you used and what kind of paint you like. That way it'll give other people suggestions if they're trying to figure out what, not what color, but what kind of paint to use in their trailer. So go ahead and leave a comment below on those suggestions. Again, thanks for watching. See you next time.